Peace family, Kanja Queen here. Happy new moon. You already know it's a new moon in Cancer. Shout out to my Cancer family. Happy birthday to the Cancer Center Belzen. As you guys already know, I too am a Cancer July 6th. Shout out to any birthday twins out there. But anyway, let's talk about this new moon in Cancer. I know for the past couple of days, I've been putting posts about like family, relationships, how to deal with toxic loved ones. And so Cancer, now that we're entering the new Cancer moon, a lot of things dealing with relationships relationships, family, loved ones, children, mothers, womanhood, femininity, the home, domestication, all of those things are really going to be taking a huge role in your life right now. So a lot of us will have to reanalyze our relationships, our relationships to others as well as our relationships to ourselves. Now keep in mind too, this Cancer New Moon also wants you to take care of your health, right? Cancer rules the breast and the stomach. So be cautious of what you're eating and also the chest deals with anxiety, right? Anxiety, sometimes feeling like a lot of tension or stress or any type of aches and pains going on in that area. You might want to do some chakra healing, some meditation, some yoga, and even do some detoxes to cleanse out your stomach. Now, the stomach is where a lot of our emotions are at, right? Like our solar plexus. That's also where our power is at. So if you were feeling kind of like, let's say, having low self-esteem, not feeling good about yourself or comparing yourself to others, not feeling worthy, I really want you to work with some citrine or some carnelian or some powerful crystals that make you feel empowered and confident and strong because that cancer energy can make a lot of us feel vulnerable and emotional and a lot of people will be going through the motions okay trust me i know like for the cancers that's watching this right now like we go through this stuff every day but when it's cancer season now everybody who probably is disconnected or not as emotional you guys are going to get a taste of the medicine that we always taste every day but you got this right for people that's uncomfortable with their feelings with their emotions cancer season is going to force you to feel them so do not fight it do not fight the tides but flow with them right don't force just flow and analyze the emotions that's coming in right now analyze what you're feeling how do you feel when you're around certain people do these people make you feel heavy insecure make you feel low make you feel low vibrational or do these people make you feel uplifted inspired happy joyful right and we're not really supposed to depend on others to make us happy because happiness comes from within we have to figure out what is it that we're looking for in a partner or in a friendship right and if we're feeling like we're not getting those things given to us then we have to give those things to ourselves if you want your significant other to let's say um, buy you gifts or give you more time like what's your love language right like knowing your love language is key in any type of relationship so let's say if your love language is quality time then that means that you need to start spending more quality time with yourself do you have me time do you have alone time to think to decompress to de-stress to just analyze and take time to meditate and see where you are where your heart space is where's your mind at right now how do you feel physically right now if your love language is let's say um gifts you like to receive gifts then why not take yourself out why not buy yourself some nice things treat yourself to a nice spa um go get your hair done go buy some new things for yourself or you know you might just want to stay at home and buy yourself some nice little ice cream because cancers we love the home right buy some ice cream, watch your favorite show, and just bob out. And that's your, your time right there. This cancer season, honestly, is really about like love. What does love mean to you? Cancers are all about love, right? Love and emotions, feelings, and then that new moon energy is bringing new energy, right? New vibrations, new people, new relationships into our new chapter that we're stepping in, not to mention that it's summertime, new season changes, right? If you guys haven't seen already my old YouTube video, what I'm talking about, um, the summer salsa, and the energies that's coming in for the, the rest of the season, the rest of the few months that we have, please go check it out because it's definitely going to help you understand this video a lot better too. Now, you already know, in order for us to attract new things, we have to let go of the old stagnant energies that's holding us back. So imagine your life being a book. You are the main character in your book, but you also are the author, the illustrator, the writer, right? So now you're in the last page of the book. And it's like you can either go right back to the beginning of that book and try to restart all over again, repeat those same cycles with the old characters, old situations, old plots, old issues, old challenges, or you could finally turn that page 
open up a new book, right? Start a new book with new characters, new adventures, new hobbies, new skills, new things that you never have experienced before. And this is what this Cancer New Moon is ushering in. It's saying what characters or relationships in your life are outdated and what needs to be revamped, removed, or reconsidered. New moon, new beginnings, baby. I'm telling you, do yourself a nice spiritual bath tonight. You could do some rose bath. You could do a bath for some lavender. Um, but I definitely want you to take a milk bath, right? Like milk is known to be associated with cancer. White, nurturing, milk comes from the breast, right? That motherly, nurturing energy. If you feel like you need that nurturing, loving energy, especially, let's say, people who have, like, strange relationships with their mothers or women in general in their family or have issues with women, it could be something that happened, like, you know, past life or childhood traumas. You know, some situations may be coming up for you to heal those things, to heal whatever type of, like, hate or grudges you have against women in your family or women that are in your life. And even ask yourself, right, like, even if you are a man, men also have feminine qualities. And because of the society that we live in, especially here in America, a lot of men are taught to ignore their feminine impulses and to just focus on being masculine, manly, macho. Human beings have both feminine and masculine energies. And this new, this Cancer New Moon is asking us to ask ourselves what part of our feminine energy needs to be nurtured right now. Caring for yourself, loving on yourself, um, just spending time and just doing some revamping in your home, adding some feng shui into your house, cleaning up your house, throwing out old clutter and old things because Cancers can tend to be clingy. And that means that they hold on to a lot of memories and a lot of things from the past. And they just keep a collection of a whole bunch of stuff because they feel like someday they're going to need it or they don't want to let go of this memory. But listen, in order to move on, you have to let go of the old, right? Speaking as a cancer, it's easier said than done. But once you relieve, once you release these things that's not serving you, you feel so much lighter. And that's what this Cancer New Moon energy wants you to do. It wants you to understand that the universe got your back. Your spirit guides are with you. Your ancestors are with you. And you can do this. You will do this. This is an inspirational and encouraging energy for you. Cancer comes to nurture you, to give you love, adoration, appreciation, respect, right? Self-love. So love on yourself, wear some rose quartz, some moonstone, some labradorite, um, selenite. Oh my God, selenite is perfect, especially if you want to work with the moon goddess, working with Selene, working with clarity, burning a white candle to ask for clarity, peaceful dreams, putting moonstone and amethyst under your pillow so that you can have prophetic dreams because cancer is also known to deal with the spiritual energy. So look at your relationships with your goddess self and also working with goddess deities if you feel comfortable doing so. Try to build a relationship with the feminine aspects in your ancestral spiritual court as well as the regular, your spiritual guides. Because we all have feminine and masculine spirit guides that watch over us and protect us. Even if we may not be aware of them, they are there. And there's th certain things that you can do to make these spirit guides and ancestors announce themselves or show themselves to you, whether it's in a dream, in a vision, or through signs and symbols. I talk about a lot about this in my ancestral workshop and spiritual mediumship workshops, and that's on my website. For some reason, whenever we're in summer and the sun is closest to the earth and we're in cancer season, right, people tend to have a lot more encounters with their ancestors we're talking about like the maternal line and a lot of times like an indigenous spirituality like with the cherokees and the native americans your line was based upon who your mother was who your grandmother was like that maternal line was so important because it identified your tribe so cancer wants you to connect to your ancestral lineage to find out who you are cancer is all about timeline they keep track of family ties and you know um rituals recipes write down all of this stuff right if you're a practitioner get yourself a grimoire or a spell book and start to write down your recipes your potions your spells so that way you can pass it down to the next generation after you cancers keep the legacy going and flowing and we are the the nurturing backbone of family and tribe and community so even ask yourself what can you do for your community right now what can you give to others to help others um, what can you give to yourself 
So these are just some things to think about. I know that that was a lot of information, but I definitely hope that this has helped you. Once again, happy Cancer New Moon. Much blessing, success, and nurturing and love to everybody that's watching this. And yeah, I hope you guys take care. But I'm going to sign out. I'm going to do my little new moon ritual stuff. Get started early in the day. But take care, family. Love you. Kanja Queen signing out. Peace.